Hi, my portrait painters, Shelly here. I want to talk to you today about critiques. You can get a self critique given by yourself, or you can get a professional critique that you um, get from a professional artist. With the self critique or the critique from friends and family, which is always fun, I love figuring out and hearing exactly what their thoughts are on a painting that I'm doing, but they're not gonna be super honest with you. They don't wanna hurt your feelings. They don't really know, unless they're artists, how to do a critique properly. They're just looking at what kind of pleases them and how the painting makes them feel. They're giving you an initial reaction, which is valuable in its own way. But again, they're not really going to be super honest with you. They're not going to tell you the things that are wrong, more than likely, unless perhaps it's someone close to you. Like for instance, my husband, Greg, he's my most harsh critique person <laughs> that I can go to. Um, he will definitely tell me honestly if there's a problem and not only that, how to fix it which is funny. Most of the times he'll have a, a thought on how to fix it. And no, he's not a painter. He is an artistic mind, but he's not a painter. So that's always fun. <laughs> um, so I highly recommend that you seek out professional critique, especially if you're noticing that you're kind of plateaued in your improvement of your paintings. So if you're feeling stuck and you don't really know what it is that you need to do to improve to get to that next level of painting, a professional critique will help you figure that out. A professional critique will also help you see bad habits that are repeating in your artwork. You're probably not going to spot them on your own. It's something that you're used to seeing. It's kind of like you're numb to that problem, but getting a professional critique, that is one of the things that the artist will point out to you if they see a repeating bad habit happening. But the other most important reason for a professional critique is the professional artist is going to critique you on the the areas of painting that make it masterful that will make you better. Um, they're going to look at value, composition, drawing, edges, brushwork, the use of color. So all these areas need to have full attention paid to. And if you're weak in one of those areas, a professional critique will definitely point that out to you and give you ways to actually help improve that technique. So self-critique is definitely something that you need to know how to do, especially if you're going to be a professional artist. It's something you do on a regular basis, probably minute to minute while you're painting. You are self-critiquing your work, but that skill improves from getting professional critique. So self-critique is something that gets better as you go along and improve in your painting and have received professional critique, definitely. Professional critiques are what moved my level from amateur to professional. There, I was stuck and I didn't know exactly what it was. You're like, you're looking at your painting and you're like, I know there's something I can do to improve on this, but I don't know what it is. So I sought out professional critique, which turned into me having a mentor. And that has been the most valuable thing that I could have ever done for myself as a professional artist to improve and really become a masterful painter. Not that I'm a masterful painter. Definitely. I have ways and ways and ways to still go, but I have a place to turn to, to help me get there. So I have two ways to help you receive critique or do a self critique. So on my SJC portraitcourse.com, I'll leave a link down below. You can order one, two, or three. There's groups of critique. So you'll get a professional critique from me with my critique being based on all those techniques that I discussed. And 
so that happens via email. You send the painting to me, I critique it, and you get a written email response so you have it to review and go over, and I'll give you ways to actually fix any problems that I see. And the other way that you can do a critique that I want to help you with is my free guide, which I keep right here on my easel. Um, you can get this free. I'll leave a link to the download in the description. It's six questions to ask yourself. If something looks off in your painting and you can't quite put your finger on it, you go through these six questions. You ask yourself each one while staring at your painting and you figure out where the problem is. Now, if you get to the point where you figure out, okay, this is the problem, but I'm not really sure how to fix it, then you can get a professional critique from me and we can work on ways to improve from there. So here's a few things that you can do to perform a self critique. Uh, one of the things I like to do is to look at my painting in a mirror. So you hold the mirror up and view it so it's reversing everything. If anything's not drawn correctly or if something's really off, uh, seeing it in the reverse image will really help you hone in on that. Uh, the other thing I like to do is to look at my painting upside down. It's kind of like the reverse image in a mirror by tricking your brain and seeing the painting in a new light, so to speak, uh, any errors tend to jump right out at you. Uh, the other thing I like to do is to look at the painting in black and white. I'll um, snap a picture with my iPhone and turn it into the mono or the noir so it's black and white. And that way you can check your values as you're going along and also seeing it in the on the screen is another way of tricking your brain and seeing it in a different perspective and again things will jump out at you it's even good to look at that um, image in the phone in full color as well uh, another thing I like to do is if I have a master painting that is similar either in say color or in composition or maybe in value, I'll put the master image next to my painting and look at the two side by side. That can be helpful. And then the other thing I like to do is to snap a picture of my palette and then flip it over uh, in the phone to black and white and I'll uh, check the values that way as well. So those are just a few things you can do to help you with your own self critique. So hopefully that will help. I mean, the whole point of my channel for portrait painting is to help you improve. And these are the things that I wish I had known when I first started. I spent years practicing and painting and trying to put it all together, being self-taught to some degree. I mean, I've taken a lot of workshops and worked with some professional artists along the way but I never went to an atelier or an actual university or anything like that for portrait painting. So it's definitely my number one goal in every video that I do to give you some information that's going to help you improve, to move the needle forward, to take you to a more masterful level. That is the number one goal of my channel, is to help you become the portrait painter that you want to become. And I hope that doesn't come off as sounding cheesy because it's really how I feel. So if you're in a place where you feel you need a professional critique, I'm here for you. Just go to sjcportraitcourse.com and you'll find the critique options there. All right, guys, see you in the next one.